Hello, I'm doing a screencast about geotagging on Ubuntu GNU Linux and some issues to do with Nikon's proprietary file format. Um, I own a Nikon D90 and I'm going to buy a GPS unit from this company Dawn. GPS is a global positioning system and geotagging is basically the process of adding geographical identification metadata to various media such as photographs, video, websites, SMS, etc. In simple terms, I'm going to add the data, the location of where I've taken my photo to the file itself. Um, I'm running Ubuntu operating system um, and because I use a Nikon D90, when I save in uh, Nikon's electronic format, which is a raw image format, it's a little bit problematic. Um, a raw image format um, is sometimes called the digital negative. It's the minimally processed data from the image sensor. Um, let's have a quick look at the benefits. Um, Nearly all digital cameras can process the image from the sensor into JPEG file using settings for white balance, color, saturation, contrast and sharpness that are either selected automatically or entered by the photographer before taking the picture. Cameras that produce RAW files save these settings in the file but defer the processing. So there's an extra step at the end but you've got the RAW data there. So if you want to modify the white balance, sharpness, etc you can do that after the fact. Okay, the drawbacks, it's a much larger file. I think my raw files are roughly 10 meg, so that's um, typically two to six times larger than JPEG. Okay, um, so let's move on to why this is such a good idea for me. I use a program called Digicam for organizing my photos and editing them. Um, and I can sort them and search them many ways but the really cool thing I want to do is be able to sort them through map like with this map search you can draw a little box around a certain location and it'll show you it'll display the photos that I've taken in that location and I guess if you travel all over the world it's even it's even more useful but anyway um, so let's have a look at one of the problems with uh, Nikon's file format. If we if we have a quick look at this NEF file, I've already added the global positioning system data here, the metadata. You might not be able to see that, but it's there. Um, but with this NEF file, even though it showed up in my search, the global positioning system data wasn't written to the file even though I went image, geolocation, edit coordinates it loads the map and I can move this little pin anywhere I want and it'll save that data but that's only within this program let's have a quick look at um, how that's done this, with this JPEG with the JPEG it has no problem writing the data it's unavailable there at the moment I'll go image, geolocation, edit coordinates and I took this photo over at the Roma Street Gardens I'll just drag the pin up there and then zoom in gee that was a pretty good guess that was that's pretty close, let's just move it here, I think it was more here if I hit OK it should save it. Okay, let's have a look. See, there we go, it's saved. But if I go back to my search, this file, which is a NEF file, not a JPEG, I've done the same thing, but it hasn't saved it. Purely because it's a NEF file, it's a raw image file. And I'm guessing at some stage Digicam will be able to do that but the problem with that is when writing to the EXIF metadata, if you get it wrong, you can damage the file and then you won't even be able to use it as an image anymore. 
so to overcome that oh look I must have drawn the box here's our other file and you can view them here too by location it'll just move around it's a pretty cool program so to overcome that for now well when I buy my um, GPS device it will write write it straight to the uh, image and I won't need to do this probably ever again if I'm using that um, device all the time but for now I used a different program let's go back um, called Geotag it's um, an open source uh, free software program it's a jar file so you need Java um, and I've downloaded it already so let's go to downloads here it is here just right click on it open with Sun Java runtime okay loads up okay let's open it up add image I think it was 45 okay let's have a look there it is there alright so now you just need to go show on map this image you could use Google Earth if you want but um, I don't have that installed and it opens up this um, map in your web browser so that file I mean that photo wasn't taken over there it was taken over here that ferry dock actually is being repaired after the flood so um, is that it? no 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 it's it's over here more yeah there it is there okay so there it is there now I can go back to geotag and it's updated the location so another cool feature is find location uh, location names I'll try that it's searching Seville South Bank so it's even Queensland Australia how good is that okay so that's done I'll go uh, save new locations this image one image updated alright so that's done so if we go back here the uh, global positioning system data has been updated there it is thanks to geotag okay I'll close that um, so it's really that easy it's very it's very easy to do it shows you the map you drag the pin and that's it so you don't even really need a GPS unit to geotag all your photos you can just use the maps there's also another way to do that that I discovered on the web through using a GPS tracker um, there's a plug-in for Digicam for doing that as well which I haven't really explored but it's trackly I think it's correlator you load a GPX file but let's go back and read that quickly all you do is you get your Android phone or iPhone um, and you, there's an app track your route and save it to a GPX file so you leave the tracking on while you walk around and take your photos when you get home you open the uh, photos up in Digicam, load the GPX file and it should at least associate that data with the photos I'm real. I would really prefer to write it to the file itself so if I end up using a completely different program all the data is stored in the photo itself and one of the things that people worry about with privacy is that some of these smartphones actually have this turned on by default when you take a photo and you upload it to the web perhaps you're sharing the location data with the internet of where you took that photo so you might want to check that yourself I, I don't have any info on that right now but that's something uh, that you should look into if you uh, want to keep the location of your photos private okay so that's about it for me um, it's a bit all over the place but I hope it's useful to other Ubuntu users who are into geotagging uh, happy learning and I'll see you next time.